doing well uh, Jay here just want to kind of come out and give you guys a real quick simple uh, kind of jazzy bluesy lesson here um, so what I'm going to talk about is this little chord move here so what I'm doing is I'm really playing B flat to E flat 7 both of those are seventh chords B flat 7 to E flat 7 and the voicing that I'm using here is something that you hear Freddie Green do a lot. And I think that's kind of where it started, but after that you hear all kinds of jazz cats do it and blues guys do it all the time. And what I'm talking about here is, is what I refer to as shell chords. Um, other people might refer to them as different things, but basically at some point uh, when you're playing rhythm guitar and you're playing jazz and fusion and stuff like that when the chords are much bigger and there's more extensions, you have to make a decision as to which notes you're going to include. Um, so, you know, when you play shell chords, basically, you're just playing the third and the seventh. So you're defining what that chord is, and you're leaving it at that. Now this technique here that I'm doing, I'm actually adding in a little bit of a bass note, uh, a kind of a descending bass line into each one of those chords. This is a really cool thing to do if you're harmonizing for a buddy, you know, if it's just two of you and one's playing lead and the other's playing rhythm, you can kind of do this to add some more movement into your chords. Or if you're playing jazz tunes, um, or if you're playing by yourself, it's a really nice way to accompany. So, what we're going to do, we're going to play our B flat 7 like this. I'm playing the root, the flat 7th, and the 3rd. So that right there is my shell. And then when I go down to my E flat 7, playing the same notes, I still have the root, the third, and the seventh, but from the E flat. So, kind of like the bottom of a ninth chord or something like that. I just got this, this, and this, right? So, now, uh, what I like to do with that is I like to take. What I did there is I descended from a half step above on the bass note into each chord. So before I play the B flat, I actually play a B natural note. And then I play the higher voicings about after that. Then I do the same thing on my E flat, descending from the half step above the E note. And then I play the third and the seventh, the tritone after that. And then when I get back to my B flat, I actually go from below. So I go from A up to the B flat. So you could do this over all kinds of chords. If it's a minor chord, you just adjust the third uh, as you need to do. You know, and if you're playing, uh, you know, kind of little jazzy turnarounds, you can kind of add this move in there and it kind of helps to add some movement. Or if it's just a one to four kind of groove. kind of thing that you hear people like uh, Joe Pass kind of I mean he does a lot more than just this but you know kind of a basic idea of what cats like that are doing when they're accompanying for themselves it takes a little bit of work to kind of get the technique under your fingers but after you do it's definitely worth it and it's fun to play around with um, yeah if you guys have any questions definitely reach out to me and let me know what's up um, thanks for checking out the video um, hope everyone's having a great week adios